Robert Ndiwa won the men's 8-kilometer race after coming home fast in 25 minutes 19. Point zero four seconds, beating Moses Koyaki and Ishmael Kolale to second and third positions respectively. Leo ilikuwa ni hard course, lakini na fraia sana. Kwa sababu ilikuwa ni mlima na mteremuko. So mlima ni nawega leo yote. In the women's category, Pauline Wangui stopped their clock after 28 minutes 16.10 seconds to finish first ahead of, of Pauline Mushiri, who placed second with a time of 30 minutes 21.6 seconds. Ruth Karancha completed the podium clash in 30 minutes 40.34 seconds. The race, organized by multiple Paralympic gold medalist and former record holder Henry Wanyuike, raises funds that support education of orphans and vulnerable children and helps raise awareness on the rights of the disabled. We do support people with disability uh, 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 by providing them the wheelchairs, crutches, walking sticks and other devi uh, de uh, devices for th to enable them to have a better life. The Over 15,000 runners took part in this year's race. Meanwhile, the Kenya Retired Athletes Welfare Association has appealed to Athletics Kenya AK to financially support the association to enable it to provide its services to all its members. Association Chairman Vitalis Emurian says they have not been able to meet their financial obligations due to inadequate funds. Because we want to have even SACO and many things doing, even to recognize those heroes even who passed, like Chelimo, Paul Koech, and many even Wanjiro. So we, it, the program is enlarged because it goes up to the village to confirm that this uh, former athlete who brought the medals, what does he do? So what, how the family is surviving? But that can only success when the members get inside and understand how the operation of this welfare works. <laughs> Tunataka athletics ya muke msuri, tuchanganye, tunataka ati, watu wanachua ambio wako na experience, watakuwa wanakimbia na wana, tuna, tunatangena sambio yetu yukue sawa. Kenyan runners immensely contributed to putting the country on a global map and upon retiring, they have an option of joining the association having paid a registration fee of 1,200 shillings. Registration is open to all the retired athletes from across the country. <laughs> Elsewhere, Spartan FC thrashed Black Legacy 4-1 as the 15th annual Ramadan Cup kicked off at Holy Grounds. <laughs> Legacy blinked fast in the 12th minute through Brian Otara, but Abdallah Umar equalized for Spartan in the 30th minute. Adam Amwar made it 2-1 for the Spartans before the first hour break. Idris Omar and Fahad Swade added two goals in the second half to wrap up their uncomfortable 4-1 win. Frederick Muki for Channel 1 Sports. <laughs>